JJ, yeah. Monday night, mm. the big London derby. Yeah. What are you thinking? Um, I'm looking at it thinking, who's it bigger for? Mm. And, you know, I think initially you probably kind of go, well, Chelsea, like the, the yeah. desperation to kind of get some form going. But with Spurs, you know, currently sat top of the league. Um, and can you believe you're just, did you listen to what you just I, said? I, you know, I, I couldn't even get the, mar- the, the words out. I still don't <laughs> believe it. But do you know what I mean? It's like the, the pressure is building to yeah. maintain that and stick with the, the, the boys at the top yeah. and stuff like that. So I don't know. Look, I, 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 the interesting part of the yeah. whole thing is the return of Maurizio. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. and kind yeah. of, is he going to get some love for, you know, what he did for that football club? Or is it just going to be boo central? Well, I've done my market research in the WhatsApp <laughs> group skis and he ain't getting no love. I've really? not met one Spurs fan who's going to go, I'm oh, really looking forward to welcoming Maurizio back. I think he just crossed the line. Yeah. I think that's the issue. And I think that like, you know, you know, from your point of view, for example, you like you said to me a minute ago, it's Chelsea now. Yeah. And he needs <clears> to make <throat> peace with the fact that that ship sailed yeah. with what he's done at Spurs and this rivalry is real. Yeah. So I, I agree with you. I think that the, um, yeah, he's, he, I think the boo boys are going to be out and he's just going to have to swallow yeah. it. Unfortunately. Do you know what he would have, un- I remember a quote from him, someone said the other day, he said he would never manage Arsenal. Like, I know Ch- Tottenham Arsenal is probably a, t- it's more than yeah, Ch- it's Tottenham Chelsea, time. but yeah. I don't think he realises, the, the, he could probably have managed West Ham and got away with it. I think so, yeah. Or here, Fulham. But yeah, 100%. When it, you're not there's Chelsea get... are now in, Chelsea and Tottenham are... Yeah, that yeah. rivalry is strong, so you're never going to get away with that. The actual game, though, itself, yeah. I just see it going. Like, it's a really tough one for it's Chelsea, isn't it? It's a tough one, it? mate. I've watched Chelsea, <clears throat> and they're like this... There's a lot of compartments of the team, JJ, that are good. The midfield now, I think, looks settled. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Conor Gallagher, Enzo and Casado, young, mm. good balance, can do everything. So that part of it, he hasn't been able to settle on the back four. Badashili's a really good player that we've missed, I think. Yeah. Um, Disassi has played right back at times, which I don't think he's good enough. No. It's not good enough to play for, sorry. It doesn't suit him. He's a good player. Centre off, he's done really well. Yeah. So he needs to settle on them pumps, but it's the front end of the pitch. It's so frustrating because... They're at that stage now where they're, they're, they're like they're not even pulling the trigger some of the lads yeah. because of the confidence level. So yeah, they need course. they need someone to lift them. And, and I don't know. How, it weighs heavy, doesn't it, on the team yeah, eventually? Yeah, yeah. When that ball's not hitting the back of the net, yeah. it's all right popping it around. If you're not yeah. scoring goals, it just has an impact on the team. Yeah. And going to Spurs and the way that they're playing and they're you know how free flowing and you know playing through the lines and what they're doing. I think it, I, I honestly see Spurs continuing that. Yeah. You know, under Ange, there's not been a they've not flinched. No. Yet. This is probably the biggest test that yeah. he's had yeah. because of that rivalry and uh, you know the whole kind of potch and the story behind it all. But I, I do think that at this particular time, just because of the form that they're in, I, I, I think that no matter what kind of energy uh, that Chelsea mm. bring to the table, I think away from home, I think it's just a bit too soon for them personally. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm with you. I, and do you know what I can see going? Because like, they've got the song, haven't they? The Ange song. And, the, and like he's like, it's like a nightclub. Like the Spurs fans, <laughs> it is, it goes they're on. having... They're, then when you get that energy and you build it as a yeah. club, the play, imagine how excited the Spurs players are going in for games. Mate. It's going to be a yeah. mate, it is, it's going to be a great game. It's, it's hard for me game. to talk about that, but I've got I, I love Ange. Who you know, doesn't? Love, exactly. Who doesn't? You, know you can't I mean? not. Yeah. You know, but I always think to myself, Chelsea's a club. I've just got that mindset where they know how to get. I think you lean into that if you're Pochettino, yeah. going like, guys, listen, we've we've always done well here. Yeah. Look at the record. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, because you've got to find something to lift the lads. Because They'll be looking at Tottenham. You know when you do the, the game and they're like, not only are Tottenham winning games, but they're playing some great stuff yeah, as that, well. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. On the, you know, to knock the conversation forward, the interesting you know, thing for Tottenham is what gets thrown at them all the time. Yeah. And it's something that Chelsea have done year after year after year yeah, and have yeah. got, you know, they've got it in abundance with regards yeah, yeah. to the trophies. Yeah. Um, but this is a new Chelsea mm. and an, you know, essentially a new Spurs, really. Yeah. Who do you think is going to win something first? Well, we're still in the, the Carabao Cup, that, you know, so yeah, yeah. I think that's the only thing Chelsea can win this year. I'm yeah. going to be honest with you. And Man City and Spurs are out of it, so that's mm. two big hitters gone. You've got at, Newcastle at home, man. Yeah? We've got Newcastle at yeah, home, yeah. which you may, maybe they'll be, their head will be turned Champions yeah, League football know, yeah, around yeah. that time. So, oh, Chelsea could be in a semi final. Yeah. So let's fast forward there and think, you know, and this team by February, March will be getting better because I've watched them get better. So I think Chelsea could win that. But if you're telling me what team's in a better position, what club's in a better position, 100% yeah. Spurs are in a better position as a club. And, and, and by the way, that's Chelsea's own fault. Of course, The, yeah. the owners. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and, and respectfully, so like, 
I met them. They're, they're brilliant, brilliant guys in their own right, you know. And and but wh whatever advice they're getting in terms of recruitment and putting in a structure underneath the club, I don't think they're getting the right advice. No, you know? yeah. And 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 because you can't be from where Chelsea three years ago Chelsea won the Champions League. I know. And then just and, like, and now yeah. mid table and it's looking mid table again. Yeah, and we spent is, yeah. a billion, so something's gone wrong. Yeah. They need to address that. 